Canon has finally opened up their RF mount for third parties and this is huge news. Let me tell you why. So far there have been very few third party lenses for the Canon RF mount and even those have been fully manual lenses except for a few Samyang or Rokinon lenses and even those weren't really that good in my experiences and I've used them quite a bit and even those have since been discontinued. The reason for the lack of third party RF mount lenses is that Canon hasn't opened up the RF mount technology for third parties which basically just means that third party lens manufacturers like Sigma and Tamron and others have not been allowed to make RF mount lenses with the autofocusing technology and all of that. And the reason why this is such a big issue is that there has so far been only one brand making RF mount lenses and that has obviously been Canon, which means that they have been able to dictate the prices of the lenses and there hasn't really been that many options for us users either. So far Canon hasn't really been focused on the mid-level lenses but instead they have been focused on the higher end lenses as well as some lower end lenses and for example we don't have any type of a 35mm f1.4 lens and considering the huge popularity of the Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens I think a lot of users, including me, would love to have a lens like that. But because Canon hasn't made a lens like that, we just don't have one. Canon has obviously been way behind brands like Sony in terms of native lens options for their mirrorless cameras and this has also been a reason why many people have chosen to buy a Sony camera instead of a Canon camera and obviously this is a lose-lose situation for everyone. Sure you have been able to use Canon's EF to RF mount adapter but that's just not quite the same thing. But luckily everything is going to change for the better now because quite recently Canon announced that they have opened up their RF mount for third parties including Tamron and Sigma. They both announced their first lineup of RF mount lenses, but sadly it's only for the crop sensor cameras, but I bet full frame lenses are coming in the near future as well. What this means is that we're going to get a lot of new lens options and especially lenses that are high quality but not overpriced. Personally, I am very excited for Sigma lenses because they have extremely high image quality, very good autofocusing, but they are still at a reasonable price and they are some of the best price over performance lenses that I have ever used in my whole life. I just cannot wait to buy some Sigma RF mount lenses because I absolutely love the lenses Sigma makes. This could also mean that Canon becomes more appealing for new users which means we will have more and more Canon users which in turn means that Canon would have more resources and hopefully more interest to further develop their RF cameras and that would be obviously a very good thing for us Canon users. I actually think Canon opening up the RF mount for third parties is some of the best news for Canon users we've had since the launch of the first Canon EOS R camera. There are some very good things coming for every current and future user of a Canon mirrorless camera. But these are only my thoughts about this topic and I'd love to know what you think so drop a comment down below and let's have a chat about this thing. But that is all I have for today so thank you very much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one.